Hello children. Good morning. Welcome to grade 5 English class. I hope you are all doing fine. Today we are going to revise the first lesson of your English textbook titled Chess Kid Goes to School. In this story the main characters are Chess Kid, a handicapped girl, Steuben, her brother, Amale, her mother, Abale, her father, Mimile, her grandfather, Abdul, a schoolboy and headmaster. It is a village of Ladakh. It tells many things about life in Ladakh in beautiful words children. Ladakh is a high altitude cold region in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Ladakh is tinyly populated. It was a spring time in Ladakh and the apricot trees were in full bloom. Loy is the largest town there. In this lesson, we are going to see about a 9 years old girl, namely Chaskit, who earns to go to school. But because of her disability, she cannot. She was different from other children. She could not do the things that other children could. Because since birth, Chaskit could not use her legs. Let's see what are the things happened in Chaskit life before going to school. Let's see children. Chaskit woke up early that morning. It was a very special day and she was too excited. She eagerly looked outside of the window next to her bed. Chaskit mother making gurgur tea in the kitchen. Children, if you have some special plan or you are going to your favorite place, obviously we get up early that morning. Yes, and we will be really active that morning and we will be so eager. It was happened in Chaskit life also. As soon as she woke up, she was looking through window. Do you know why children? Yes, you are correct. Because today was going to be Chaskit first day at school. She has been waiting for this day since long. There was a school which was not very far from Chaskit's house. The children of Skiptoyol. Skiptoyol means the name of Chaskit village. Had to take the big road and then walk along the lake. They had to cross the river near poplar trees and then after a small climb, they reached the school. All this was not possible for Chaskit due to her disabled legs. So, it was not possible for Chaskit because the school was not very far away from her home. To get that, she had to walk up to the main road, then took narrow stream near the poplar trees. After that, jumping over the big rocks. Then a short walk up a slope took to the school. All the children walked to school every day. But not little Chaskit. She could not walk. So it was not possible for Chaskit. Her father had taken her to the village Loy and to the doctors for medicine. But no medicine had helped her to walk. At first, Chaskit did not realize that she was in any way different from Steuben, her younger brother or her cousin. But soon there were many things she could not do as easily as they could. So, she was realized that who Chaskit? Her father told that does not matter. He told her, you draw very well. So, often bought some color pencils for her to motivate. Children, all day Chaskit used to sit near window and draw picture. She drew very well. So, her father usually bought color pencils for her. This made Chaskit happy. One day, her father got a chair for her which had wheels. 
chasket used fitted wheelchair to move around elders called it a wheelchair her family members were very excited when her father first bought the wheelchair home after that chasket also quickly learned how to sit in the chair and how to move it back and front chasket was so happy now she did not need her father to carry her anywhere when she wanted to go outside she would tell her mother to put her in the wheelchair then she could come outside on her own her mother with tears of happiness in her eyes and i will be able to go wherever i want cried chaskid excitedly she was very happy with that wheelchair one evening when chaskid was sitting outside the house with her grandfather a young boy came up to her he carried a letter which he handed over to her grandfather he said the bus driver asked me to give this to you my name is abdul he said to chaskid i study in class 6 at the government school i have often wonder why you don't come to school chaskid said i have never been to school because the path to the school is too uneven and pebbly and my wheelchair will get stuck it would be very difficult for my parents to carry me to school and back every day then abdul asked chaskid if you wanted to go to school chaskid replied yes of course i want to go to school like all other children i hear my younger brother talk of all the things he does at school i like to make friends play games wear a uniform and even want to write exams you may not believe thus sometimes i dream of carrying a school bag even eating packed lunch also abdul chaskid grandfather stopped her and told her not to dream as she know that it was not possible what happened children her grandfather told chaskid enough stop dreaming you know you cannot go to school but chaskid softly with tears in her eyes and her grandfather walked away angrily she felt and said i too want to learn to read and do max do you understand abdul yes said abdul i will see you later i must go now abdul went back from chaskid house but he started thinking of how to get chaskid to school the next day abdul went straight to the headmaster room after assembly he said i want to talk to you sir about a girl from our village who does not go to school she is stuben's sister chaskid oh yes replied the headmaster i know her she is unable to walk isn't it yes sir she uses a wheelchair to move around but cannot reach school as the path from her home is too rough and uneven if we could all get together and level the path and build a small bridge across the stream headmaster appreciated abdul for his thoughtful idea and patted him on the back what made you think of chaskid and her problems abdul he said last week we read about the fundamental rights of citizen in our civics class in that all children have a right to education that includes for chaskid also sir yes you are right abdul let me discuss this with other teachers replied by headmaster the next day the headmaster shared abdul's ideas with all the teachers and asked them what they felt impossible said one of them how will chaskid be able to write play and go to the toilet like the other children do that's exactly what we must work out said the headmaster i hear 
that village education committee has helped to build a special toilet for one of their children who cannot walk we could ask them what they have do but first we must get just kid to the school then we could think of ways of helping her in school two weeks later all the children gathered outside in the school playground they came to school without their school bags the teacher divided the children into groups one group worked in front of chaskit house and another group worked on the path along the stream a third group with older children worked hard to help some of their teachers built a strong wooden bridge across the stream children look at this a small bridge with flat pieces of wood across the river everyone worked hard with the help of teachers they wanted chaskit to come to school chaskit's parents provided everyone with hot tea and biscuits chaskit's grandfather sat under a tree and watching the busy school children children chaskit's mother and father gave hot tea and biscuits to everyone chaskit's grandfather sat under the tree and watching everybody and he had tears in his eyes because he was very happy by the evening the work was done all the children were happy at the end of the day it was a tired but happy group of children that returned to their homes the path from chaskit home to the school was now ready chaskit was going to school for the first time in her life and that's why she was so excited her dream was come true and today it was that special day for chaskit children i hope you all will understand the story this is the story of chaskit goes to school now we are moving to the book exercises and class work are you ready children now take your book page number 18 exercise a mark the sentences as true or false if the sentence is true you have to write true if the sentence is false you have to write false let's see the first one chaskit got up early that morning because it was the lozer festival no because she woke up early that morning because of the first day at school for chaskit so this sentence is false second one the school was very far from chaskit home no it was not very far from chaskit home so this sentence also false now third one chaskit went to school every day by bus no chaskit went to school every day by bus no she can't go to the school yes so this sentence also false fourth one abdul was a student of class 6 at the government school yes this sentence is true so answer is true fifth one abdul offered to help chaskit go to school yes abdul helped chaskit to go to school this sentence is true now sixth one mimile was unhappy that chaskit would be able to go to school this sentence is false because her grandfather was unhappy because chaskit could not go to school so the sentence is false now we move to exercise b choose the correct option in your book there will be three options 
but here i gave the correct option read the question first one chaskit had never been to school because the answer is she could not walk i repeat chaskit had never been to school because the answer is she could not walk now we move to the second one abdul was inspired to help chaskit go to school because he was answer is a sensitive boy who had read that all children have a right to education i repeat the answer a sensitive boy who had read that all children have a right to education now third one even when she got a wheelchair chaskit could not go to school at first as the answer is the path to the school was too uneven and pebbly and her wheelchair could get stuck i repeat the answer the path to the school was too uneven and pebbly and her wheelchair could get stuck now page number 19 exercise a fill in the blanks with the correct compound adjectives from the box do you know what is compound adjectives compound adjectives are made up of two or more words they convey a single idea and add to the meaning of the nouns they modify it always modify the nouns that is the compound adjectives compound adjectives are made up of two or more words they convey a single idea now look at the words in the bracket children ice cold multi talented snow capped steep sided thought provoking well mannered so the first question dash water flowed in the stream the answer is ice cold i repeat dash water flowed in the stream answer is ice cold second one the dash road was full of pebbles answer is steep sided i repeat the dash road was full of pebbles answer is steep sided now third one ladakh is surrounded by dash mountains answer is snow capped i repeat ladakh is surrounded by dash mountains answer is snow capped fourth one chaskit was a dash and dash girl answer is well mannered and multi talented i repeat chaskit was a dash and dash girl answer is well mannered and multi talented now fifth one abdul gave a dash idea to the headmaster answer is thought provoking i repeat abdul gave a dash idea to the headmaster answer is thought provoking now we move to exercise b match words in column a with words in column b to make compound adjectives in column c so what are the words in column a and column b are eyed blue fed chocolate flavored good looking slow moving soft powered solar spoken well tight okay now we are going to make compound adjectives in column c let's see the answer first one an air tight jar i repeat an air tight jar second one a blue eyed bird i repeat a blue eyed bird third one a chocolate flavored cupcake 
a third one a chocolate flavored cupcake fourth one a good looking actor i repeat a good looking actor fifth one slow moving traffic slow moving traffic sixth one soft spoken girl i repeat soft spoken girl seventh one solar powered batteries i repeat solar powered batteries and then eighth one a well fed dog i repeat a well fed dog next page number 21 exercise a tick the words that are abstract nouns do you know what is abstract noun an abstract noun is the name of an idea an emotion a quality a state or an action abstract nouns cannot be felt with our sense organs here the words are bridge friendship hope victory water wheelchair what are abstract nouns here friendship hope victory or abstract nouns i repeat once again friendship hope victory or abstract nouns then exercise b change the following words into abstract nouns here are some words given we have to change into abstract nouns what is the first one believe abstract noun is belief second one child abstract noun is childhood third one honest abstract noun is honesty fourth one treat abstract noun is treatment fifth one think abstract noun is thought sixth one true abstract noun is truth i repeat the abstract nouns belief childhood honesty treatment thought truth now page number 22 and 23 exercise c choose the correct option to fill in the blanks before that do you know subject verb agreement children let me explain that the verb in a sentence must agree with its subject if the subject is singular the verb must also be singular if the subject is plural the verb must also be plural that is called subject verb agreement i repeat once again the verb in the sentence must agree with its subject if the subject is singular the verb must also be singular if the subject is plural the verb must also be plural let's see the first one i will read the sentence with answer first one the little boy is unable to walk here the first sentence the subject is singular so the verb used is also singular move to the second one now chaskit along with her brother and cousins goes to school i repeat now chaskit along with her brother and cousins goes to school third one one of the students at the government school comes to chaskit's home i repeat one of the students at the government school comes to chaskit's home fourth one the headmaster the teachers and the students are preparing a path from school to chaskit's home i repeat the headmaster the teachers and the students are preparing a path from school to chaskit's home fifth one either my brother or my sister 
is coming over for my birthday i repeat either my brother or my sister is coming over for my birthday now exercise d fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb given in bracket first one with answer the constitution gives us six fundamental rights i repeat the constitution gives us six fundamental rights second one with answer all the children of this village go to school i repeat all the children of this village go to school now third one the members of the committee for inclusive education meet every month i repeat the members of the committee for inclusive education meet every month next fourth one the people of ladakh celebrate loss the new year festival for 15 days i repeat the people of ladakh celebrate loss the new year festival for 15 days last one the decision to make a road was taken by the headmaster and the teachers i repeat the decision to make a road was taken by the headmaster and teachers now take your class work note children write the topic name chess kid goes to school then start the first roman read the sentences from the story and answer the questions here the sentences are given from the story and then questions also given to the questions we have to write the correct answer let's see the first one you can stretch better than any of them and you draw very well i repeat the lines again you can stretch better than any of them and you draw very well so what is the question here who says this and to whom who says this abale abale means her father to whom he said chaskit so the answer is abale says this to chaskit i repeat the answer abale says this to chaskit now second one why does the speaker say this i repeat the question why does the speaker say this answer is he says this because chaskit is unable to walk and cannot do many things as easily as other children can i repeat the answer he says this because chaskit is unable to walk and cannot do many things as easily as other children can now second question and i will be able to go wherever i want i repeat the story line and i will be able to go wherever i want a who is the speaker here i repeat the question who is the speaker here the answer is chaskit is the speaker i repeat chaskit is the speaker now b why is she not able to go wherever she wants i repeat why is she not able to go wherever she wants answer is she is not able to do that because she is unable to walk i repeat the answer once again she is not able to do that because she is unable to walk now see why will she be able to go anywhere now i repeat why will she be able to go anywhere now answer is now she has got a wheelchair in which she can move around easily i repeat now she has got a wheelchair in which she can move around 
easily. Now, third question. I never dreamed I had see a day like this. He thought to himself as he wiped a tear. I repeat the storyline. I never dreamed I had see a day like this. He thought to himself as he wiped a tear. A1. Who is he? I repeat a question. Who is he? Answer is, he is Chaskit's grandfather. I repeat the answer. He is Chaskit's grandfather. Now, B1. What is he thinking about? I repeat the question. What is he thinking about? The answer is, he is thinking that he has never dreamt of a day like this when Chaskid will be able to go to school. I repeat the answer. He is thinking that he has never dreamt of a day like this when Chaskid will be able to go to school. Now see, what does this show about his character? I repeat a question. What does this show about his character? The answer is, it shows that he is a loving and caring person who loves his granddaughter. He was very attached to her. I repeat the answer. It shows that he is a loving and caring person who loves his granddaughter. He was very attached to her. Okay children, up to this, the first Roman over. So, write this first Roman in your classwork note neatly. And then, after complete the first Roman, draw a line. For one question completion, you have to draw a line. Then, we move to the second Roman. Second Roman is, answer the questions. First question, how was Chaskit different from her cousins? I repeat the question, how was Chaskit different from her cousins? The answer is, Chaskit could not walk and do many things which her cousins could. I repeat, Chaskit could not walk and do many things which her cousins could. Now, second question. What did Chaskit often dream of? I repeat. What did Chaskit often dream of? The answer is, Chaskit often dreamed of carrying a school bag and even eating a packed lunch. I repeat the answer once again. Chaskit often dreamt of carrying a school bag and even eating a packed lunch. Now the third question. How did Abdul help Chaskit? What does this tell us about him? I repeat the question. How did Abdul help Chaskit? What does this tell us about him? The answer is... Abdul spoke to the headmaster of the school who got all the students and teachers to work on the path to level it and built a small bridge across the stream so that Chaskit was able to sit in her wheelchair and reach school to get education like other children. He was a Helpful and caring boy who was sensitive to the needs of the others. I repeat the answer once again. Abdul spoke to the headmaster of the school who got all the students and teachers to work on the path to level it and built a small bridge across the stream so that Chaskit was able to sit in her wheelchair and reach school to get 
education like other children he was a helpful and caring boy who was sensitive to the needs of the others now fourth question what had the village education committee of mentoyal done for one of the children who could not walk i repeat the question once again what had the village education committee of mentoyal done for one of the children who could not walk the answer is the committee had helped build a special toilet for one of their children who could not walk i repeat the answer the committee had helped build a special toilet for one of their children who could not walk now fifth question do you think chaskit's grandfather was extremely attached to her support your answer with evidence from the question i repeat the question once again do you think chaskit's grandfather was extremely attached to her support your answer with evidence from the story the answer is yes he was he had tears in his eyes on the day chaskit was going to school for the first time he had never dreamed he would get to see a day like this he was very happy for her i repeat the answer once again yes he was he had tears in his eyes on the day chaskit was going to school for the first time he had never dreamed he would get to see a day like this he was very happy for her now we are moving to the sixth question what do you think would have happened when chaskit went to school for the first time how would she have felt when she got back home i repeat a question what do you think would have happened when chaskit went to school for the first time how would she have felt when she got back home the answer is she would have been welcomed by all would have attended classes eaten her packed lunch and enjoyed the day with other children she would have felt extremely happy and shared her joy and experience with her family members on getting back home i repeat the answer once again she would have been welcomed by all would have attended classes eaten her packed lunch and enjoyed the day with other children she would have felt extremely happy and shared her joy and experience with her family members on getting back home okay children up to this the question answers are over write neatly in your class work note children so first roman and second roman write in your class work note okay children thank you children i will see you in my next video class